MCV for you one, chapter one, session five. In this session, we work on section 1.2 from the textbook, the slope of a tangent line. A tangent line is the straight line that most resembles the graph near a point. Its slope tells how steep the graph is at the point of tangency. By looking the graph of the given function and drawing the tangent t1, t2, t3, t4 at points a1, a2, a3, a4, we see the graph of the tangent, uh, the graph of the function near the point a1 is similar to the graph of the line t1. And similarly, the graph of the function resembles to t4 near point a4. In this section, we want to find an algebraic way to evaluate the slope of the tangent line at a point. As you see in this graph, the slope of the tangent to the graph of the function at P is the same as the slope of secant PQ when Q moves towards P along the curve. Therefore, we can say the slope of the tangent to a curve at the point P is the limiting slope of the secant PQ as the point Q slides along the curve toward P. In other words, the slope of the tangent line is said to be the limit of the slope of the secant as Q approaches P along the curve. To understand this better, let's find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals x2 at x equals 3. In advanced functions, what we did, we chose a couple of points closer to, close to 3, was x coordinates is more than 3, and a couple of points close to point P, was x coordinates are close to 3 and less than 3. Then we found the slope of PQ i for i equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 8. And we use a pattern to find this slope. Instead of doing this process, we can point the point Q whose x coordinates is 3 plus h. When h is close to 0 and bigger than 0, we deal with points like q1, q2, q3, q4. And when it is smaller than 0, we deal with these numbers. Notice that h is not 0. We find the slope of PQ, and instead of saying Q approaches P, we say H approaches 0. As you see, when H is getting close to 0, point Q is getting closer to point P. Let's find the slope of PQ with the assumption that the x coordinates of q is 3 plus h, and we know the x coordinate of p is 3, therefore p is 3 and 9, and q is 3 plus h. 
and 3 plus h to the power of 2. The slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This can be simplified as h times 6 plus h over h by simple algebraic manipulation. Since h is not 0, we divide the numerator and denominator by h, and the slope of the secant line is 6 plus h. Now, we say q should approach to p. This means h approaches 0. Therefore, the value of 6 plus h approaches 6. When h is getting close to 0, 6 plus h is getting close to 6. This can be written as limit of 6 plus h as h approaches 0 equals 6. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line at p3 and 9 to the graph of y equals x2 is 6. Let's formulate it for a general function. We are looking for the slope of the tangent line at point P to the graph of y equals f of x. The x coordinate of P is a, therefore P is a and f of a. We pick a point close to a, a plus h is the x coordinates and h is close to zero. The point Q would be a plus h and f of a plus h. The slope of PQ is going to be delta y over delta x, which is f of a plus h minus f of a, divided by a plus h minus a, that is f at a plus h minus f at a over h. This ratio is called difference quotient. Now we say the slope of the tangent line is the slope of the secant PQ when H approaches zero. That means the slope of the tangent line is limit of F of A plus H minus F of A over H as H approaches zero. The limit of quotient, the difference quotient as H approaches zero. Let's formalize it by saying the slope of the tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at point a and f of a is limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches 0, if the limit exists. Let's have a couple of examples. The first one is a quadratic function, y equals negative x2 plus 4x plus 1. We are looking for the slope and the equation of the tangent line at x equals 3. f of 3 is 4. f of 3 plus h is negative h2 minus 2h plus 4. The slope of the tangent line would be limit of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 over h as h approaches 0, which is limit of h times minus h minus 2 over h as h approaches 0. Since h is not 0, the slope of the tangent line would be limit of minus h minus 2 as h approaches 0, which is negative 2. The equation of the tangent line can be found using slope point equation of the line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. When x1 is 3, y1 is 4, and slope is negative 2. The graph of the function is a parabola. The direction of opening of the parabola is downward, and its vertex is 2 and f of 2, 2 and 5. As you see, the tangent line touches the graph of the function at 3 and 4. The next example is doing the same thing with a rational function. f of x equals 3x plus 
6 over x and we are looking for the slope of the tangent line at 2 and 6. The slope is f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h as h approaches 0. You take the common denominator of the numerator of this fraction. Common denominator is 2 plus h. The numerator would be 2 of plus 3h minus 2 of minus 6h divided by 2 plus h. And the slope would be 2 of plus 3h minus 2 of minus 6h over 2 plus h over h as h approaches 0. This can be simplified as limit of negative 3h over 2 plus h as h approaches 0 times 1 over h. Notice that instead of dividing by h, numerator divided by h, we times it by 1 over h. We reduce it by h and we see the limit is negative 1.5. Therefore, the limit, uh, the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of, f of x equals 3x plus 6 over x at 2 and 6 is negative 1.5. The last example is the slope of the tangent line at x equals 9. Uh, what we do, we find f of 9 and f of 9 plus h. The quotient difference, to find the limit, we rationalize the numerator of the fraction and we simplify it. The slope of the tangent line would be limit of 1 over square root of 9 plus h plus 3 as h approaches 0. When h approaches 0, square root of 9 plus h approaches 3, and the limit would be 1 over 6. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals square root of x at x equals 9 is 1 over 6. And the equation of the tangent line is y minus 3 equals 1 over 6 times x minus 9. We can multiply both sides of this by 6 and bring everything to the right side and write it in the standard form. Let's recap. The key idea in this chapter is the slope of the tangent line is the limit of the slope of the secant PQ when Q approaches P. This is the same as saying the slope of the tangent line is limit of difference quotient as H approaches zero. Therefore, to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at p a and f of a, we evaluate limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches zero. To understand this better, do the following questions from exercise 1.2. Question number four, part a and c. Question number five, question number six, part B, question number seven, question number nine, part B, and question number 10, part A. For all of them, the key idea is limit of difference quotient as H approaches zero is slope of the tangent line. Thanks for watching.